Here is lesson 10 in module 2. And our objective today was to estimate and measure liquid volume in liters and milliliters using the vertical line. It's going to be a little smaller today. That way the answers can stay up for you the entire time that we are doing our math. So, number one, how much liquid is in each container? We're going to look at the first container carefully and look to see where the line is pointing. If we look at the line, we can see that it's pointing right at the five liter mark. So I am going to mark this container as five liters. Looking at container two, I look at the dark liquid and I can see that the dark liquid is about at the line where it is marked as two liters. So I'm going to mark container two as being two liters full. Looking at container three, it is almost completely full. It is marked all the way to the top of the liter. So I'm going to mark this as six liters. Last, container four has the least amount of water in it, so I'm going to mark that as one liter. Notice on container four that we really need to be careful about capitalizing the L since the answer is a one. If we don't capitalize that L for liters, it's going to look like the answer is 11. Let's look at number two. John pours the contents, or what's inside, of container one and container three above into an empty bucket. How much liquid is in the bucket after he pours the liquid? So let's look and see. Container one has five liters in it, and container three has six liters. We want to know how much liquid is now in the new bucket that John pours the water into. So we're going to look and see that we have five liters in the first bucket plus six liters in the second bucket. If I add the five liters plus six liters, I am going to end up with 11 liters in the bucket. Again, if we're not careful with that capital L abbreviating liters, we're going to look like our answer is 111, and that's going to be way, way, way too much water in that bucket. Last number three, estimate the amount of liquid in each container to the nearest liter. So in this section, the water is inside of the containers, but it's not marked at an exact line like it was in number one. So we have to guess or estimate where the water is closest to. If I look at the first container, I can see the line of water is in between four liters and five liters. If I look at that carefully, I notice that the water line is closer to five liters than it is to four liters. So I'm gonna mark container one as about five liters. Look at container two. Again, there's water or liquid in between one liter and two liters. I can see that the water is closer to two liters than one liter. 
So I'm going to mark this as 2 liters. The third container, we have 3 liters and 4 liters. It almost looks like the water is right in between those two. So we could say, if we're trying to be accurate, that we have three and one half liters in that container. We have more than three liters, but not quite four liters. It's right in the middle. Because it's right in the middle, we're going to estimate up to the higher number and we're going to mark this container as four liters. Last container we have, the water is quite low in between two liters and three liters. If it's low, it's closer to the bottom number on the number line, so I'm going to mark this water as two liters. Go back and check that every time you marked liters, you marked it as a capital L.